Should you pay for Windows 10 extended security updates? Well, the short answer is no. And the long answer is what you need to understand because it's not as simple as paying money. With the end of support with Windows 10 encroaching very quickly, Microsoft has offered the ability for people to pay for the first year and the next two years for extended security updates at a price of $30 per year. Now, using this account and paying this $30, it can cover up to 10 devices on your Microsoft account. This doesn't include any new features, any tech support, or any new updates to the system itself. Extended Security Updates, or ESU for short, was a program that was mainly offered for businesses to give them time to make the switch from Windows 10 to 11, because unlike regular consumers like you or me, making giant changes in the enterprises is a lot more tedious and requires a lot more planning than just going out and buying a new computer. And then Microsoft made the decision to offer that to consumers for $30 a year for their Microsoft account to cover up to 10 devices. Now, generally, I wouldn't really say it's worth it to pay for these updates that Microsoft is already going to be releasing. And I think Microsoft also knows that as well. So they're offering it for free for everybody. But is it worth it also getting it for free based on what you have to do? In order to get these security updates without sacrificing your privacy, we have to kind of enable a couple of things and change some settings in and of ourselves. Now, what you do is you create a Microsoft account or you can already use one that you already have and you use it on your computer. You log in with that account if you're not already doing so and you use it specifically to enroll for these security updates. After you've enrolled in those updates for free because you've set those settings to allow your backups and sync and everything to happen with your Microsoft account, then you pretty much just leave that account as it is and you only add on the device uh, as a local account to your system. So you create a new local account if you don't already have one and it's just local only as administrative rights. So you're getting the updates because the computer is registered, but you're not having to give your information and back up your data because that profile will just sit dormant for Ever. So I guess to rephrase the entire question of the video, are the Windows security updates worth it? In general, yes, I would recommend it because it is nicer to have a product that is going to be safe and is going to be giving you the security, but it does not always mean it's worth it for the security risks. And so this happy medium where you don't have to pay for it and you get it for free and Microsoft will not be spying on all the stuff that you're doing, that's a fantastic option for anybody that's looking to get the updates without wanting to give away anything or pay anything or isn't included in any sort of a business that is going to be doing it for them. And the free option provides the exact same benefits as whether or not you paid for it. Check my videos in the description down below to see exactly what I'm talking about with other options that you have. I've done a plethora of different Windows 10 content and it's been very great because I get a lot of questions about it. It gives me a lot of content to make. I want to give you guys the most concise, clear information I possibly can based on the questions that I receive on a near daily basis. So in my other videos on my channel, I do discuss ways to exactly uncover this. This video is more so an update to tell you whether or not you should be doing it and whether or not the extended security updates are worth it. It's mainly going to be giving you the best security you can get, but you don't want to sacrifice your own privacy. For any of the information on the other videos and what I've done, again, links will be in the description down below so you can see exactly how I've installed Windows on non-supported hardware and how I've also installed this Microsoft account on a computer enrolled in the updates and then created a local account so we never have to use that other account again. It will be very interesting to see what happens in October 2026 if Microsoft is going to offer more free updates for those that are already enrolled in this program or if they're going to find my video and be like, we don't like what he did. And they're going to find it another way. So we can either say, thank you, Don, or be like, oh, well, Don, you know, look what he did. So we'll see. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember, if you give it a like, it'll always help the channel and help other people know that this video was helpful to you. And if you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. I'm trying really hard to make monetization and partner for YouTube right now. So every watch hour counts. I've got playlists to help with that. And if you want to give them a look-see, learn some more stuff, that would always be helpful to me as well. So again, thank you so much for watching this video. And remember, the Don's got your back.